Good evening, Holly. How are you today? All right. That's good. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, do you have congested heart failure? No. No? Um, any circulation problems? Yes. Yes. Um, any problems with breathing or asthma? No. No? How about diabetes? Any history of that in your family or? Um, history of in my family. In my family. Okay. Um, how about depression medication? No. No? Um, any liver or kidney disease? No. No? Okay. How about your thi any thyroid disorders? No. All right. Well, the reason I was asking you those questions, um, taking your blood pressure was 210 over 125, which is pretty high. So with that, we were thinking about putting you on a blood pressure medication. Um, Metaprolol, which is a beta blocker. Um, your nurse, Jerry, will come in in a little bit to give you some teaching on that and give you a little more insight on it. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. She'll be in with you in a minute. All right. Hi, Holly. Hi, Jerry. So, I was just in here talking to you about Metaprol, right? Mm -hmm. And she explained to you that you're having some high blood pressure or hypertension problems. This drug is a beta blocker, and hopefully we can uh, treat that for you. And what is a beta blocker? Um, beta blockers react, relax the blood vessels in the body, and they help to lower the heart rate, which in turn will lower your blood pressure. Okay, um, can you tell me what some side effects are? Um, there's a few minor side effects, you know, dizziness, tiredness, nausea. Hopefully your body will adapt to the pill. Um, you said that you have some circulation problems, and um, one of the side effects of this medication it can make your hands and feet cold, so since you already have circulation problems, that's probably something you want to be aware of. Um, you may also experience some heartburn or constipation, but I mean, these are all pretty minor things. If you experience anything long-lasting or that you're uncomfortable with, don't be afraid to call your doctor and ask questions. Um, but there are a few special instructions I wanted to uh, let you know about. You're going to be put on an oral pill. You're going to want to take it two times a day with meals. Now, if you eat dinner late, you know, try to have a late afternoon snack and take the pill. Don't try to take the pill really late at night. Okay. You might stay up late and not get a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. um, the second one is to keep the pill away from heat and moisture. So don't store it in your bathroom. Try to keep it out of the sunlight. Um, since this is a blood pressure medication, you're going to have to go see your doctor um, pretty regularly to have your blood pressure checked to make sure it's working. And um, something you can do at home before you take the pill each time is check your radial pulse, and that's on your wrist. You can find it like right here, and you're going to want to check that for a minute. Okay. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so before you take each pill, take your pulse for a minute, and um, if it's below your baseline or below 60, or you notice anything irregular, um, call your doctor and don't take the pill for that dose. Um, do you have any other questions for me today? Will I ever be able to get off this medication? Um, usually once you start a blood pressure medication, you will go off of it. You may think your blood pressure is regular, back to normal, lower, but that's the medication, so probably will be off forever. Okay. Anything else I can answer for you today? I think that will be it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.